The John Browning 1911 design has been around for over 113 years. And with that design, it's more popular today than it's ever been. The 1911 just is holding its own in a lot of markets. And then with, of course, small officer size or even commander size models, they are still excellent concealed carry pistols. And a lot of that has to do with how thin the pistol is. And then put that together with CZ, which was founded in 1919, which has 95 years. And then you take Dan Wesson, which is a famous revolver company here in the U.S. Uh, for 46 years. You combine those three together and you have a lot of heritage and a lot of know-how about putting together firearms. Dan Wesson uh, was bought by CZ a number of years ago and from that time they have been developing a line of 1911 semi-automatic pistols. This is the Dan Wesson ECO and it is a lightweight officer size 45. It is the smallest 1911 that Dan Wesson makes. Now they do make this in the 9mm as well. Today we're going to be looking at the 45. But not only is it the smallest Dan Wesson, it only weighs 25 ounces, which is incredible. And that really puts it in the concealed carry market. Uh, it is an alloy frame with a steel slide. But not only is the ECO a small pistol, the premium parts and the way that this gun is fit together, it is match quality. It has a match barrel, has a lot of different features. Of course, we're going to take a look at those in just a minute. But this is one extremely pleasant gun to shoot to my surprise. Of course, first thing I want to do is make sure the gun is unloaded. The slide has a nitrite finish, which is going to wear very well. Uh, the frame itself, even though it's aluminum, it has a hard anodized finish. It really matches the slide. I mean, this gun looks like a steel frame pistol because of the matching of the slide in the frame. It has the G10 grips. The grips have the Dan Wesson logo on them, checkering here, and then of course smooth in the back. But there is some texturing even with the G10. A very nice feel to it, and of course that mirrors it on the other side. And the G10 grips also are very thin. So it's going to really make it nice for concealed carry. It's not going to print as easily. And with this style checkering, it's not going to catch on your clothes. But you can see how thin, super thin, and slim these grips are. The finish is exceptional. The edges that are supposed to be sharp are the ones that are rounded off are very well executed. It has an extended right hand safety, not ambidextrous. Has an Ed Brown high ride beaver tail with memory notch. Commander style hammer that's stainless steel. And the trigger pull on this pistol is four pounds and it's really crisp. Of course, 1911s can have really extremely good trigger pulls uh, when tuned correctly. The trigger pull is stated to be four pounds, and here 4.3, 4.3, 4 4.9. One of the problems with checking the trigger pull, especially on a single action pistol like this, is that it's such a crisp break that you want to pull a little bit longer. I was even getting readings of three pounds and 13 ounces earlier. So it's pretty consistent around the four pound mark. The barrel is three and a half inches. The overall length is seven and a quarter inches and it's five inches in height. The slide width is just under an inch and a half at 1.45 inches. Now the ECO does have a matched barrel and it's a flush cut ramped bull barrel. Uh, it doesn't have any bushing and it has a target crown. You can see the recesses here on the barrel and this is going to protect the crown of your pistol. This helps with accuracy. A lightweight aluminum frame 1911 with the short barrel, officer style. That's not a bad group at seven yards. I'll tell you what, this handles like a dream. Really, I expected a lot more recoil out of this gun. Now, to achieve the accuracy that these are capable of, they are fitted to the slide. So, it, there's a lot of hand processes that go on. And again, this matched stainless steel barrel is just a thing of beauty. We're going to look at that when we get ready to break the pistol down. These are night sights with a single dot in the back and really black profile. At the front, you have a single dot, which make these excellent night sights. But also, even out on the range, 
these sights really show up well. The rear sight has been dovetailed deep into the slide which really helps to keep it a low profile and yet you still have this tactical ledge uh, for reloads on your belt. The front sight has been dovetailed as well and this is going to add to the durability of your sight. It's going to keep it in place and of course these are Trigicon. The checkering on the front of the grip is 25 lines per square inch. Very well executed and also on the mainspring housing uh, which is aluminum. The frame has also been undercut right here so when you're getting a grip you're able to get a higher grip on the pistol and of course because this is a 1911 it has a fairly low bore axis. With the beaver tail you're able to really get your hand high up on the pistol and having a low bore axis is really nice. It really helps with felt recoil bringing the slide back keeping it low to the hand. Have the slanted cocking serrations with ECO marked right on the slide. But the other side of the slide has no markings whatsoever. Uh, here we see Norwich, New York, and these are where these are produced. Uh, even though they were bought by CZ a few years ago, these have retained manufacturing right here in the U.S. And of course, Dan Wesson Firearms. It comes with two seven-round stainless magazines with the Dan Wesson logo printed right on the magazine. And of course, 7 and 1 of 45 is an excellent start. Now early on the ECO had a few hiccups with malfunctions. I think that had to do with the magazines. Uh, Dan Wesson obviously has corrected that. I had zero malfunctions the entire time. We probably put about 500 rounds through this pistol. Uh, two days of shooting and I'll tell you guys it just shoots like a dream. your guide rod and the flat wound recoil spring. These are made by EGW. This is hands down the best recoil system designed for the for the officers model 1911s today. This is the same recoil system that we use in all of our custom 1911s, our custom officers 1911s that we build at Wheaton Arms. It really makes a huge difference too. It does, it does. It softens the gun, it softens the recoil on these little small guns and does a tremendous amount to increase reliability with these guns. Any of the, the like Kimbers or Springfields or anything that come into the shop that are having reliability issues with feeding or ejecting or extracting, the first thing I do is pull the recoil system out of those guns and replace it with this recoil system here. Now because of the captive recoil spring, we're going to need a paper clip. Just bend the tip. Bring the pistol back into the open position. Right here in the stainless steel guide rod, you can see the small hole. Just take the paper clip, lay it in, and then bring your slide forward. Then we're going to just pull out our slide release and then just move the slide forward. Now one of the things about this type spring system is that it will take up to 15,000 rounds of 45 ACP before you need to change this out. A lot of the captive recoil systems, 500 rounds is max. So this is a really incredible spring system, top of the line, and it's really gonna carry you. Uh, no one's gonna necessarily put 15,000 rounds through an officer's aluminum frame pistol. So this really gives you a lot of life with that recoil system. Bring your barrel back and then just bring the recoil spring to the rear position and then just bring the recoil assembly out. You'll just want to leave it in this configuration. Now take your barrel link, move it forward and you can pull your barrel right out. You can see the bull barrel design, very nice. This really aids in accuracy, it fits well, it holds together and the precision is very nice and that's one of the reasons why we get such good accuracy. But another reason is because of this recoil system. It has the flat wound spring which really makes this a soft shooting gun. In fact, uh, when I first got the pistol and I took it out, I was really expecting it to be very snappy. Because of this recoil system, it really aided in keeping the recoil very manageable. And now the gun is completely filled stripped and of course in reverse order we're going to reassemble. First take your barrel, make sure the link is in the down position, slide it into place, then bring the link back up. 
take your recoil assembly and guide rod, get it into place, and then fit it into this hood right here, like so. Making sure our barrel link is where we can get to it, we're going to go ahead and re reattach the slide and bring it back right here to this notch. That way, with the link in place, we're going to slide the slide stop through, clip it into place there. Now, pull the slide back like you're going to lock the slide back, and then just remove the paper clip. We're all done. Now, of course, this is the nature of the beast. I can already hear the complaints about using a paper clip to break this down. But because of the captive guide rod, it's the best way to do it. You can still take this pistol down without this paper clip. Uh, it makes it a little more difficult. You just have to hold in your recoil spring as you're bringing it out. But it can be done, and in a field expedient situation, uh, it can be done very easily. This is really an exceptional shooting firearm. A lot of times, really small 1911s like this are hard to shoot. One thing that I did notice though, if I grabbed hold and rested my finger on the thumb safety, it was uncomfortable right here on my thumb. So just adjusted my grip. This is typically the way I really like to carry it anyway and like to shoot this way. Tell you what, Dan Wesson really has a winner with this one. Now the retail price on the ECO is $1,662, which is a pretty premium price for a 1911. But with the features you're getting with this pistol, and then really on the street or in a lot of different places, Slick Guns was one place I found it uh, for about $1,438. So you're getting a high quality match grade subcompact pistol in 1911 style which makes it really exceptional. It doesn't get up to the custom Wilson guns, which can run up to twenty-five to $3,000 and more. But you're getting a lot of the same features, and it's just a thing of beauty. Of course, you can go to the CZ USA website. I'll have the link down below, and I'll have it marked right here for you to check it out. Uh, but you'll find all the different Dan Wesson models. In fact, their signature piece is their bobtail, which actually brings the mainspring housing down, and it makes it even smaller. But the ECO has the standard grip, which I personally prefer. I feel like sometimes with the Bob, I get a little bit more felt recoil. This thing fed like a dream, and it shot like a champ. This really reminds me why the 1911 has been around as long as it has. I'll tell you what, I really miss shooting a lot of 1911s. They are a joy to shoot. So if you're looking for an out-of-the-box, super high-quality match-grade pistol, in, in the 1911 style in 45 ACP or in 9mm. I definitely want to recommend the ECO from Dan Wesson. Dan Wesson ECO, thumbs way up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. One of the great features of this pistol is that it only weighs. It has an extended. It has an extent. It, trying to figure out where I can stand to get out of frame. <laughs>